What's going on, everybody? Quaku here, back with another app review. Oh, yeah, and welcome to Next Windows or Next Gen Windows. Back with another app review. Today's app review I have for you is the official Instagram app for Windows 10. Um, I believe I've taken, taken a look at this before, but I don't think I ever published the uh, the review. But this is going to be a quick review because there's not much going on with it. And I have a few things to say about it right off the bat. Um, in the beginning, before I even get into it, uh, the, some gripes I have, I can already say that it seems like Instagram as a company, Facebook, Instagram as a company, they've given up on this app altogether. Um, just because right off the bat, there's no access to IGTV on this app. Uh, and that's terrible. Like there's zero access to IGTV. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the first and main thing right there. Um, and I don't believe this supports the Instagram, uh, video chat either. Cause that's a recent update that they had for all the other platforms, iOS and Android. So this doesn't support Instagram, uh, video or voice chat and also doesn't support, um, IGTV either. So that's two things that just right off the bat, I don't really like, but here we go. So right off the bat, you see here, uh, this is the general Instagram profile page. In fact, I'll go to my homepage here. So you'll see the general Instagram feed. I actually, this is actually my account here. Images by Quaco. I do photography as well, if you don't know. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a general Instagram feed there. That's me doing lifts and stuff like that on my main account. And just, there's there's a there's a general look of it. The feed looks nice, looks clean. Um, it's really flat um, and like two dimensional. In fact, right in front of me here, I'm gonna actually pull up the main Instagram. So the app for iPhone. So I'm looking at the app for iPhone, and I'm looking at the app for Windows 10 on the Windows Store, Microsoft Store. Um, and there's some things that are different. So we have we do have the top bar up here. The top bar up here is actually the same other than this refresh button. There is no refresh button on the iPhone version or the iOS version. Uh, the refresh button had been replaced with IGTV. So there's no refresh button. They want you to swipe down and then let go on the iPhone for you to uh, refresh your feed. But the rest of the feed stuff, it looks the same. Right here, you have your logo for if you post it or whoever's logo of what they posted, um, what their profile picture is. And then you have, you know, their profile name, location area. And then you have this drop down tab here. So basically what I'm doing in this app review is I'm comparing it to what's already listed for the iPhone. So here we have archive, turn off commenting, edit and delete and cancel. On the iPhone, on the other hand, you have archive, turn off commenting, edit, copy link share and cancel and, and share delete and cancel so copy link is one thing that's not in there so i guess you can't copy a link to this exact picture and send it to your friends on this version of instagram um and that's a shame but other than that it looks clean it looks good you can do the same things on it you just can't use igtv on it you can't promote your your instagram pictures on here because normally right above here right here in this area here where the mouse is over you normally would see a promote because this is a business account of mine so you normally see a promote symbol and you just don't see that either you you normally are able to see a view insights button you also can't see that either so it's just an old 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 version of instagram it's like freakishly old i don't even know last time they updated this but it is pretty old um other than that the comments and stuff it's exactly the same now the only reason why you're seeing this how it is here in fact let me let me do this. The only reason why you're seeing this how it is here is just because um, I actually have an ultra wide monitor. So I'm actually outputting the video in 1080p. Um, but my ultra wide is a 2560 by 1080. So it's not showing the full thing and fully justice. So actually, let me let me just bring this in. So you can see, you know, the comments show up clean and nice just like that. Uh, you can send uh, messages just like normal. And if you go back and scroll down, you can see me doing some lifts and everything looks the same. You see the people that you can follow. Um, it's all it's all there. It's all the same as Instagram, uh, the regular version on Android and iOS. In fact, let me see. It is. Yep. It's pretty much all the same right there. Um, do they have an all caught up thing? Normally right below 
right below this area, they have an all caught up for me on the um, iPhone version. It says you've seen all the new posts for the past two days. But on the Windows 10 version, it doesn't show anything. It just keeps going down through your feed. So if you just like that, you can just you just like what you do. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. The camera part here. If you add access to camera for your device, say if you have a Surface device and you just like taking pictures with your Surface for some reason, you can do that. I'm not going to bother doing that just because, one, I don't have a camera connected. And two, if I do microphone access right now, it will disrupt the recording. Uh, if I refresh the feed, you can do the usual send messages. You can send messages, which is pretty nice. Um, search. Uh, search is also another thing, obviously, you can do on Instagram and on search one thing you can see here is i'm looking on the iphone and comparing um on the iphone app and the android app you see another thing underneath where kim kardashian is here you would see another area here where it would be like uh i guess keyword so on the iphone it would say style art food diy architecture nature but on the windows 10 version that you're looking at it doesn't show any of that it just shows i guess trendy people right now and it shows um, these like pictures like this dog video or this nice super crisp picture here that's a really nice picture you can just see those things also if you on the on the windows 10 version when you press the back button on your mouse if you have a mouse that has like me that's a gaming mouse and you can go back by pressing the side button um it doesn't work on this app none of those mouse functions work i'm pressing them right now and none of them do anything that's unfortunate because you can do it in a browser but you can't do it on this instagram app it's just a really rundown version of the Instagram app. Um another thing here that I really had a gripe about was this right here. So this is a this is an Instagram picture with two pictures in it. Um so I'm gonna actually go back real quick. So you can see this box error if you're not familiar on Instagram if there's two boxes or more on here it means that there are at least two pictures in this uh posting. You see one of two. On the mobile version there's absolutely no way that you can uh, not on the mobile version on the windows 10 version there's absolutely no way with the mouse and keyboard to see the next picture in this one uh post you can't there's no way i can dr click and drag to the left and right which most websites would work and do um to simulate it i can normally press the second grayed out dot and it would work to simulate it can't do any of that it's very bad um it's just at one after another, I'm noticing more and more that it's just this app, it's pretty much only there for viewing basic Instagram. Like, don't expect anything else out of it. You can send a comp message to someone on with the chat, um, but don't expect to be able to do a video call or answer a video call that they send you. Don't expect to do a voice call. Don't even expect to be able to do a voice chat with them like be able to send voice messages back and forth don't expect any of that the only thing you can do is follow people unfollow people can't even post things i believe the surface version it detects it and you can post things but um i could be wrong but you can't even see the plus symbol here for you to be able to post things even though you should be able to because i would love to use my computer version with lightroom and just post things quickly with the keyboard so i don't have to use a mobile phone but you can't post things you can't do much like that um, I know I've been bashing this a whole lot, but like it's it's bare bones. It's pretty simple. Like you can scroll nicely and see your pictures nicely. Uh, I wish they would add a feature to be able to see these things full screen or something like that. If they're really into it, um, you can see likes and stuff like that on here and following. And obviously, I'm not following people on this business page too much. You can see all that, all the details. And then here we are landing on your page. Now this page is supposed to look slightly different. Uh, this is a business page as usual, as I said. This page is supposed to look a little different when it's a business page. It's supposed to have my first and last name that you see underneath this logo here. You're supposed to see it much bigger um, and just take over this whole thing. And you're also supposed to see, um, what is it? You're supposed to see the logo on the far right on business pages and it's supposed to be giant. It's all, it all, the whole page looks, the whole Instagram experience for businesses at least it looks like they still looks like the personal pages um, where everything's still left justified and just these are the usual places um, and then your feed looks is the usual here um, you can't really do too too much on there you can call email let me see if when I hit email what happens yeah it brings up the email prompt so I can send emails but on to a business if I use that call will probably bring up Skype which I'm not about to do 
If you click this, it just reorganizes what the feed looks like, um, how it's laid out. So you can make it grid style, list style. You can see who tagged you and you can see your bookmark posts. So you can see that bookmark post that I have. And then you can have collections. Uh, when you group things together, you save together. So you can group multiple things together. I never use that feature. That's just how it works. And then actually, you know what? If I click that and I hit plus, you can see I can make a new collection. I can call it, say, like farts just because and hit next and then if I want I can choose what I've bookmarked and add into a collection almost like I guess they're trying to do a Pinterest style thing and you can see I added this camera of the EOS R to the farts collection and then you have a collection and, and your and your bookmark things are all like just like Pinterest pretty much so it's it's not very interesting it's not very good these are people who have tagged you and and this is just collections just like that so then the next thing we do, we do have a promote button here. And if I hit promote, it'll tell me to pick a picture. Let's say I want to pick this one right here. Um, and I can do, okay, create a promotion. And I want to do next. And then it's going to take you to Facebook's website, log in and do the usual to do a promotion. So you can do a promotion that way, but you can't actually, like, you don't just see it at the bottom of the picture in your regular feed, which is very sad. Um, you have to go through a lot. You have to go straight to your profile tab in order to see the promotion thing. You can edit profile on there just like the same other Instagram. You can go to settings uh, and just see all that. I'm going to blur out like 90% of what you see on this screen. But you can go to settings and you can see all the craziness that Facebook, you know, since Facebook owns Instagram, allows you to do. Um, you can do content approvals if you're a business since I'm a business setting. Um, photos of you, you can, you can change a whole lot of things here. Um, blocked users, allow resharing to stories, just a ton of things to be changed on here. It's, it works, uh, well, but like, it's just the one thing I can say is if Instagram really was serious, which I don't think there are, they are serious about windows 10 as a platform. They probably want people to go to their website more and more. I think their website has more features than the windows 10 app, honestly. But if Facebook and Instagram were more serious and said, hey, we want to make this app, we want to make this app for professionals as well. Let's soup up the 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 Instagram app for Windows 10. Let's create an Instagram app for Mac Mac OS. Let's do those two things, because when if I feel like if they start doing that and if they actually bring these up to date and allow you to upload to IGTV instead of going through their website um, or they allow you to do the video chats and all that stuff, allow you to upload from your computer without using third party services because there are plenty out there to let you do it. If they allow me to do any of those things. That will make it so much better for me um, running a photo business to be able to just I can edit in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever I use and I can just upload it directly from my computer with the plus symbol. That would be where this mouse icon is. And I can have it really nice and crisp and tweak whatever I want on there and make everything managing the Instagram app really nice. Um, but I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think I think they, it's, it's pretty much a lost cause at this point. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. Uh, one thing that I did in my past is I, I resized them to see how they look when they are smaller. So you can see uh, just how the Instagram app changes in size. You can make it this small where you don't really see much. Um, and then you can say you can click on this and you can barely see the picture. But this is how it looks when you resize it. Um, I can't exactly grab that side, the bottom of it. In fact, I can barely grab this side right here. There we go. So you can see that's how it looks when you have that and then when you go full screen it, it obviously there's a lot of white space there which is unfortunate but instagram honestly they don't even care about having a um ipad app which the ipad is a big thing you know i, I even have one if they had an ipad app i'm sure this app would resize just as well it'd probably be based off of the ipad app but yeah that's uh that's essentially it um i said it was gonna be a short video but it's probably been a pretty long video this has been instagram a windows 10 app review for instagram on uh, windows and you can find it on the microsoft store right below you can see it right there and i'll put a link to it as well in the description as usual uh, yeah it's a free application you can download it if you don't already have an instagram uh then you this is a way you can sign up for it with uh i think the app in the beginning uh if you do have instagram you already know about it probably or if you don't it's there it's not that great 
you can't upload or anything like I said, but it it works. It does it does enough um, other than uploading. But if you just like to view and like things, that's fine. Uh, this is the app for you. So yeah, my name is Quaku, and thanks for watching and tuning in to Next Windows for another Windows 10 app review. Talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys tomorrow for Walk and Talk Tech Episode 2. Take care, everybody.